Gents, it's hot out there. Seriously, I was just outside and it is really hot. That's why I'm in my nice air conditioned office. And today I'm going to talk to you about fragrances that can help you smell amazing this summer at the same time are not going to break the bank. So let's start things off with the Japanese French foursome. Yes, that sounds interesting, right? So the classic is Say Miyake's Le Dessay Pour Homme. What I love about this fragrance is the yuzu. And if you're not familiar with yuzu, it's a citrus and they only use the rind, basically the outside part of it. And it's sour, yet it has the citrus feel. They've also got some lemon on top. We've got a vetiver at the base. This one has been around since 1994. Classic, but I said foursome, right? Well, because there's all these other ones. They do a flanker every single year. And that's why I love this particular Japanese designer, but the fragrance is French. So we've got wood and wood. I love this one. A lot of people pan it. I think it's a great summer fragrance. It's sweet and it's kind of misnamed. Uh, wood on wood, it's really not that strong. It's a little bit of sandalwood in the heart and you could even argue the base. But again, it's going to be vetiver. It's got a little bit of citrus, more grapefruit actually at the top. A sweet fragrance. Absolutely love this one. You can actually overspray. A lot of people say, oh, it goes away. Well, spray more than two or three times. This is one of those fragrances in this entire line. You can spray like five to eight times on your body. Yes, that many times. Just have fun. And this is something that I find lasts for me. And I just love the fragrance. Now the sport, this one is going to be, again, the yuzu. It's going to be a little bit more sour, a little bit stronger. I personally just absolutely love this one. Now, if you really like grapefruit, this is going to be the flanker for you. And it's the Oceanic Expedition. This one I think came out in 2015 absolutely love it. It's going to be a little bit, still got the yuzu. Overall, this one just is really nice. And again, I love most of the fragrances in the Issey Miyake line, but these four are definitely four of my summer favorites. Now, speaking of Ocean Vibe, let's talk about Bulgari's Aqua line. Now, there, I don't have a Mar on this line, and that one I believe is discontinued, although they're making the smaller containers. But I wanted to talk about these two bigger ones. I think that both of these are amazing. If you like oceanic smells, if you know Aqua D, if you like that, you're probably going to love this. And if you look around, you can find these for well under 50 bucks, even getting closer to 40 bucks for a full 3.4 ounces. I also like these because the bottles are pretty cool. But the Atlantique, this one has a little bit more of a salty just smell to it, I almost say taste, because you almost feel like you're at the ocean when you're wearing either of these. Both of these right here, the Port Ohm or the Port Ohm Atlantique with the Aqua line is just amazing. And Bulgari in general makes great fragrances. Not the cheapest ones, but I wanted to add them on the list because they're, they're that good. I get it. You want something cheaper? Well, let's look at Azaro Chrome. This one actually not just cheap, but very easy to find. You can walk into Walmart. You can walk into Sam's. You're going to find this thing all over the place. And for good reason, it is a solid summer fragrance. One thing I like about this is the dry down. You got a little bit of a musk with this, but the top very much a citrus. We've got bergamot, a little bit of lemon, just a really great clean fragrance. But hey, if that's too expensive for you, then let's look under $20. Yes, gentlemen, well under $20. And we've got Nautica. So a lot of people are going to complain about Nautica fragrances. Oh, they're not that strong. They don't last all day. Here's the thing. You can find sometimes this, I mean, less than 15 bucks for these fragrances. And guys, just spray a little bit more. These have been around for a while for good reason. Right over here, apple with a bit of green. And then we've got a musk base. And for me, this just comes off really fresh, really nice. And I love that it's got that musk base because it sits there. And in the evening, when somebody gets close, this is an amazing fragrance right here, over here, the blue pineapple. This is where it's at. A little bit fun, a little bit fruity, and it definitely has a bit of an oceanic vibe. But if you like pineapple, if you like the ocean, this is a great fragrance for you. Now, some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, I'm willing to spend a bit more money, maybe 40 bucks, and I want something that's going to last all day. Oh, and by the way, love that apple note. Well, if that's the case, then let's check out Hugo by Hugo Boss. This fragrance actually been around about 24, I think it came out 1996 approximately. We're talking 25 years that this thing's been around. What I love about this fragrance is it is stronger. Oh, and it's got that top apple note, but down at the base, got a little bit of wood. Overall, it's a green fragrance though, so a little bit aromatic, and it is something that can last all day. You put on three to four sprays of this, you'll be good throughout the day. Yeah, this one, I've already sprayed it a couple times. Ooh, it's, it's a good fragrance. It's nice. It's classic. Some of you guys may be wondering, Antonio, come on, 24, 25 years old. I mean, isn't this an older guy's fragrance? Well, here's the thing. If you're 24 years old, this is probably a great fragrance for you because no one in your circle is wearing anything like this. Ladies love this. Back in the 1990s, they're going to love it in 2020. 
And speaking of the 1990s, No Fragrance probably summarizes the 1990s like Tommy Hilfiger's Tommy. This one was all over the place and for good reason. This is just a solid fragrance. And here's the thing, if you knew that time period, for some people it's going to be a flashback. If you're in your 40s, 50s and you wore a lot of fragrances, you may not want to go down this route. But again, if you're a younger man just getting into fragrances, I think that this is a classic that you can bring into your wardrobe and it's cheap. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, I'm a simple guy. I want to smell fresh and I like fast cars. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect fragrance for you, Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot. So, as the name implies, bergamot is the top and dominant note here. You got a little bit of aromatic fragrances, I believe with ginger and uh, rosemary. It's an inexpensive fragrance and if you like bergamot, you like a lemony, just fresh fragrance, this is going to be the one for you. The only thing bad about this is it doesn't last that long, but it's cheap as heck, so it doesn't really matter. Next up, we've got two of the best selling fragrances since the 1990s, both of these by CK, so two for one deal here. We've got CK1 and CKB, both of these inexpensive, both of these great summer fragrances. Depends on whether or not you like lavender, lavender relaxing, a little bit of musk, a little bit of sandalwood in this one. So, this one's a little bit heavier and a little bit stronger than this one over here is going to be more citrus. CK1, we do have a little bit of musk at the base, but we've also got a little bit of a green note in this one. So, this one lighter and by the way, in case you, you wonder about this, Alberto Maria's master perfumer, he's the one that was responsible for this. But the CKB is a great fragrance too. Doesn't sell as well as CK1, but I think it's actually, I like like this one a little bit more than the CK one, but uh, both of these fragrances, great summer choices at an affordable price. Now, this next one is going to seem to come out of left field. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, this is a winter fragrance. This is a fall fragrance. No, I'm thinking Aramis you can wear during the summer, but here's the thing. This is a strong masculine fragrance. If you don't like leather, if you're not confident in who you are, don't even try pulling off this fragrance. This one, yeah, people have rapped about this fragrance, sang about this fragrance. 1966, this thing has been around. It's seen quite a few things, but your grandfather rocked it. Your father was probably too intimidated to wear it. How about you step it up and you bring this thing back? Some women are not going to like this, but hey, you wear a fragrance for yourself. It's, it's so cheap and it is such an amazing fragrance. Aramis is a beast and if you've got the balls, go for it. Now, this next fragrance is incredibly safe. This can be a dumb blind reach. It can be a blind buy. This you can wear to the office. You're not going to offend anyone. All summer long, you're going to smell great. Versace Manifresh because you can find it all over the place. It's relatively inexpensive. And what I like, so you've got bergamot, you've got lime, uh, lemon, I believe at the top. You've also got star fruit of all things. And I think that really adds an interesting twist to it. At the same time, never being in a, a offensive. At the base, you've got a bit of wood with musk. Just a classic fragrance. Uh, which actually hasn't been around but like 14 years. Still an amazing fragrance, highly recommended and it's relatively inexpensive. So, the title of this video is Cheap Summer Fragrances That Smell Expensive and what I meant by that, they just smell good. They don't smell cheap. But some of these, as I was putting them together, I realized, you know what? They smell a lot like other fragrances that are very expensive. Point being Mont Blanc Legend. So, if you like a little bit of pineapple, lavender, a little bit of apple and you like the smell of Amber Crombie and Finch Fierce, classic fragrance but relatively expensive. Or you like Percival by Perfumes de Marly, hundreds of dollars. Guess what? For a fraction of that price, Mont Blanc Legend is going to be your fragrance to go to. And if you like Original Santal, a fragrance made by Creed that not many people know about, I think it's a good fragrance. But is it worth the price? 400 bucks retail? Probably not. But guess what? If you like that raspberry, if you like the vanilla, if you like the cinnamon and you like that little bit of lavender in mixed in with it, guess what? You've got it right here in Individual. So, for a fraction of the price, you get actually a great smell and yeah, you don't have to buy that more expensive one. So, coming in at number three on my list, I'm going to give this one to Dunhill's Icon. First up, I absolutely love the bottle. And it, for me, fragrance, the smell is everything. But I, I do love a good bottle. And these guys did a great job at a very affordable price, giving you a pretty awesome bottle. In addition, we've got the black pepper mixed in with the bergamot and I think it's the neroli at the top. So, a little bit of a floral, but it doesn't smell like a floral. I'm not a huge fan of florals. So, I have to give this one high marks as I, I think it's just a great fragrance. I love wearing it. My wife loves it on me. And overall, just great presentation, great smell. I'm going to put it in the top three. Coming in at number two is 1994's Quorum Aqua. And this one right here, if you're familiar with Polo Sport, this is Polo Sport's stronger, bigger brother at a fraction 
of the price. This one never really got the love and I'm giving into it now because this is an amazing fragrance. If you like something that's a little bit, got a little bit of animalistic at the base, but overall it's just a clean fragrance. We're talking lavender, you have a bit of citrus at the top. It's a bit green, but Man, this is just such a solid fragrance. It does a great job lasting throughout the day. It's cheaper than dirt, guys. A great deal. Highly recommend you go grab this one. And coming in at number one is not Davidoff's Cool Water. This one's a classic, 1988. Highly recommend. I mean, this is, this could have easily been on the list, but I decided to go with 2017's Davidoff Cool Water Wave. So very similar, but better in my opinion. So I like Cool Water. I've had it on many of my lists. It's just out there. It's popular. It's a bestseller, but nobody seems to pick up weight. came out in 2017. It's got a little bit of pepper in it. Got a little bit more, uh, it's got a little bit of lime in it, a little bit of uh, citrus. And I think this makes all the difference. I find it actually is a more wearable everyday fragrance. And I made a mistake by buying a 75 mil. I'm going to go out. In fact, before this video goes out, I'm going to go buy a 200 mil because you guys will probably clean house with this thing. I will tell you, this is just a surprise find and it's incredibly cheap. So go out there, guys, grab it, it is before, yeah, before it runs out. Now, if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, what fragrances would be on my summer list? Well, definitely I would have Navus by Navitus Parfums. It's a niche fragrance. Absolutely love it. But check out this video right here where I go in and I talk about fragrances from Dior, Chanel. Yes, they're going to be more expensive, but if you've got a little bit more money to spend, you can find, there are just some great summer fragrances I highly recommend. And you're going to see a lot on this list that you won't see on any other list. So guys, go check it out and uh, let me know what you think.